Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Many of you have seen the devastating pictures out of Japan and you want to do something to help. But with so many charitable giving efforts popping up in the wake of that disaster, it's important to think before you give. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with the details. Within hours of the earthquake, I started receiving emails from some unknown charities asking for money for the victims in Japan. While I truly want to do something, giving money to some random charity wasn't my idea of a smart decision. Here are some great ways to give and know your money will truly make a difference to the people who deserve it. The startling pictures of the wreckage left behind from Japan's earthquake and tsunami might have you wondering how you can help. Charity watchdog site Charity Navigator offers safety tips for those considering a gift, including giving to established charities, and even better, one that has previous experience in Japan. Your money is more likely to have an impact if the organization has a solid track record of responding to major disasters, rather than a fledging group with less experience. Text messages have become a popular way to contribute with the donation tacked on to your monthly mobile bill. But make sure you know where that money is really going by doing homework first. And be mindful there may be additional costs to send that gift. You may see a lot of links in your Facebook or Twitter feeds pointing you towards a third party charity. But just because it looks like a friend or follower has endorsed the link doesn't mean you shouldn't do some vetting of your own. There are also some options through sites that consumers use every day. Group buying sites Groupon has offered users the opportunity to donate relief efforts in the region the same way they purchase a daily deal, while Living Social has a link to a relief fund on their site as well. For direct links to finding a legitimate charity, log on to WPRI.com and click on 12 for Action. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.